guys. Happy Friday. Um, today I want to talk about Cebu's newest relaunch which is Shanghai Shampoo and Conditioner. I match the green. Don't you love this packaging? I do. So our original Shanghai Shampoo and Conditioner was launched in 2007 and um, as you may have noticed with all the other Cebu shampoos and conditioners we have been doing reformulating and repackaging and now we're on to Shanghai so this new and improved Shanghai shampoo and conditioner for volume volumizing shampoo and conditioner um, is sulfate and paraben free our botanical story has been updated and revised to now include um, marine extracts like red algae and red seaweed to help give volume and also coconut water as an emollient so you know coconut water is very hot right now especially if you do Bikram like I used to do when I had time it's a big change in my life no more time um, in fact I'm very proud of myself that I'm doing this video Friday mornings the baby is the babysitter and I'm supposed to be relaxing and not working from home but I figure it's been too long right so in the spirit of not a lot of time we're going to use just the new Shanghai products shampoo and conditioner which I just shampooed with just now after running on the treadmill for half an hour because you know I gotta get it all in in the four hours before one o'clock when I go and pick up Bambino um, so this is going to be start with the hair wet and then I'm going to come back in a few hours and show you how it finishes dry and it's not out yet it should be out by the end of May spray in volumizer which is alcohol free it's not aerosol it's very light it gives you very light movable everyday volume and what we're going to do today is I'm going to spray it through comb it through I'm going to put little twists I'm going to clip it with um, these these guys and pick up the baby, feed the baby, look at Facebook, watch some Bravo reality programming, and then come back in a few hours and show you how it sets. So spraying new Shanghai volumizing spray throughout. I'm going to brush it through. I am going to dry it just a little bit. You could just put it in wet and come back hours later. It's still going to be a little damp, but I'm just going to get a little bit of the moisture out with the blow dryer and then um, twist it up. So I'm going to take the nozzle off. Do it on. I'm just going to dip my head over. I'm not trying to get any style. I'm just trying to get the wet. Okay drying not completely dry just you know a little bit dry and see even with the spray in it's already got some volume in it I really really like this product but then you know I love all my super products because I work on them very very hard I am going to use a tad of the Shanghai mousse because mousse is really nice for curl setting and that is the texture that we're going for is a little bit of a wave so let me grab that Shanghai mousse Shanghai root booster as great as they ever were. Nothing has changed with these formulas. A very, very small amount. Not my usual golf ball size. That's like a Weight Watchers serving of mayonnaise size. Weight Watchers, my friend. Using the pointy end of my rat tail comb, I'm taking sections and you know, just twisting them loosely and clip. You're going to get some ends that are going to stick up. You can try to concentrate, if you get a little bit of time, on tucking them under as much as possible to cut back on um, the sticky outy of the ends. Or don't worry about it because it gives it a natural effect. So 
See, now that is a little too little of a twist for me. You can do it small, but that's going to make it kind of tight, which tends to frizz. So I want to pull more in. You can use bobby pins. You don't need to use these clips. If you have a pool in your backyard or your complex or your hotel, you can, pro you can do this before going to the pool um, using bobby pins so it looks kind of like a quirky updo. And then shake it out at night for with vacation waves. Twist and shout. So I'll twist it up. I wonder what the babysitter's going to think when I go so you're like this. I'm going to give it a little spray with faux finish. And um, I'll be back in a few hours. Back. Let's... Hmm? It's been... It's about 2.45 now. So... And I did this around noon. It's been about three hours which makes this a um, good first Saturday afternoon. It's not what you're going to do before you go to work. But what I found when I did it last weekend is that the waves stay for a few days. So it's a good weekend hairdo. Now that I've taken them all out, I'm just going to use my hands to work out the waves. Still a little bit damp up here in this corner, but that's okay. It'll dry. And you can also use a wide tooth comb to comb them out. Sometimes this works really well. Sometimes it doesn't. But I am going to try. Mm. See? It broke that one wave up too much and made it a little bit I don't know, choppier than I wanted. can take bobby pins and maybe twist up the sides. I'm going to take some of these clips. Especially if you have like a side that you don't like the um, the way that the curl finished. And that's all. I think it's really cute. So this will be my weekend do. Phoebe loves you.